The Mortal Nexus presents the Mortal Nexus TV show season 5. The Mortal Nexus the complete fifth season consisting of six episodes. Community isn't just about me but I am its creator and this is my work. Now it is time for you I'm to get your part in the TV I show. Before season 5 starts I would like to answer a few things. 1. Use the link in all media bios that's how you know what I'm on and what's no longer available too. In season 3 we allowed you to get paid by being a subscriber those people were paid and the option is no longer available but season 5 invites you to be a part of it in this season featuring the selected people 3. The point of this TV series of edits was to prove anyone can do what I did just be you fuck the media and opinions of others. Episode 1, The Community. All rights and credits to Starseed. Mortal Nexus main community cast. Kuzo One also the logo designer for the shirt and the modeling pics. New member of the Mortal Nexus community featured in the Meyer season finale possibly the series finale. Kuzo number 2 part of the Meyer season finale and will be appearing as Myers in a future edit. Resident Evil vs Myers. Another one of the community members in the Myers finale. There are many members a part of the community but only a selected few have been in edits. Hopefully this season allows more to come be a part of the newest season. Finally we have one more content creator to feature. There were supposed to be more creators featured but they all had only fans and we do not support sex work so I apologize for the smaller episode. Episode 2, how the community grew in under a year. Was it bots or people? Hmm, let's take a look and see if there are bots transactions. Looks like it's legit but man this guy buys a lot of stuff. Well shit now I feel dumb accusing this hard working creator of buying followers when clearly he did not. Bro is rich having all that money from being a creator musician book writer and so much more. Bro
Episode 3, Jacob Toon. Jacob Alexander Warren Toon Age. 24 Residency, born and raised in Stockton, California Traveled out of state job occupation, 2010 to 2017 Variety of jobs like mowing grass, helping people etc. 2017 Present, The Hamburger Stand, MC Donald's, Jack in the Box, Dollar General, LJS, Weibel Winery, Johnston Amusement Park, YouTube 13, Twitch, Travo Current, the Hamburger Stand Until Next Month Side Jobs, Social Media Creator, Yautuber, Musician, Book Writer, Actor for a 5-Minute Movie and Currently in Production The Tale of Shujin Saku Live Action Film Life Story Simplified Grew Up Struggling and Raising Myself Aside from the Roof Over My Head Up Until 2017 Lived in a Car for a Few Months Sometime in 2022 First Job and Still Longest Job The Hamburger Stand Sure I Could Have Grew Up Spoiled Buddha Rich grandparent but that's not my life I chose to live this life and don't regret it 3 slash 4 THS of my family either died or left and the ones that remain either just keep me around for money and labor the only people I can really save that are around is pop and sister everyone else is just there and the people closest to being family are the ones you normally see me with yes I could have been a spoiled rich brat with everything handed to me but then I won't be who you know me to be growing up the way I did allowed me to get through everything that has come to pass and what will pass it allowed me to be the most selfless version of myself and I won't change a damn thing about it. Mom walked out when I was a kid came back when I was 18 just for money. Two half brothers and a dead half sister that I was blamed for but in 2019 she told me the baby didn't die from me accidentally headbutting her when I was 7 the baby lived years after and died from a rare genetic disease or something. I blamed myself for years and grew up without a mother dad was around but more of a friend than a dad raised myself all he did was feed me if I didn't have the money but the minute I became someone and made money I became the piggy bank so yes when I say I raised myself and am basically alone this is what I mean at this moment in time the only reason I'm around Stockton is because of pop after he passes I have no reason to be here anymore the cuses are not technically my family but blood docent. Make you family these dorks have been around since they were kids and to me they are the only family I have aside from pop. Sister moved out of Cali in 2018-ish got married and had kids otherwise ID still heavy sister around so really all I got is pop and he's currently 92 and barely making it sure dad is around but I'm more of a piggy bank than I am a son yet I give a damn still but I'm no one's piggy bank I help because that's who I am not to be mooched off of my blood uncle is a street criminal. Everyone else that I call aunt and uncle or by name those are the family friends but to me they are more family than my own family. I grew up in an extremely shitty life yes it could have been worse yes it could have been better but the morale is people are not entitled to everything. I don't give a damn if your dad was Jesus who you are and what your choices were and are is how I see you and form connections with you famous rich poor idgaf I am me and you are you but I am glad to call you friends you're not followers you're not. Some street rat you are my friend rather you think you are or not if I haven't punched you or made it clear I don't like you then you know you are my friend just because you're not seeing me hanging with me or whatever does not mean a damn thing we all have lives of our own the point being I am not the person you see me as you think my life is not perfect no one's as I am me and if you accept me as who I am then you'll always be around and I will always be there for you but I treat you how you treat me that being said there's a difference between bragging and being yourself I don't open up my personal life now you see and somewhat understand why the social platforms you see me on is my public life you want to be a part of my personal life that doors Always open I don't care how many fans I have I will not let someone tell me how to run my life and I will always be around for you but again I have a life to so be patient fucker face rolling on the floor laughing. I chose this life so I understood how others felt and didn't become judgmental the problem in the world today is not the color of skin or shape of the body it's people and always has been if you take away the label and not give power to a word it cannot affect you as you literally go every day making a joke saying something oh it's cool there my friend like no you dumb fuck if I call you a bitch then you should be like I don't appreciate that and ask you to stop if they don't that's on the man. Yeah you have the right to punch that mf because they were warned it has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is the right for the people to speak up against the government not say anything and everything you want just because you think you can stop thinking you're entitled and stay the fuck out of their lives and you're live a good life who. Fucking cares if they're a different race or part of the LGTBQ plus community you're all fucking human you're all gonna die eventually so shut the fuck up and enjoy life while you're alive. I chose to be my own boss and manager with these side jobs I'm not doing it for money I'm doing it for fun the TV series was to prove anyone can fucking make a TV show or content and get known for it the music was because that's how I express all the shit I have gone through without words it's short instrumental and semi vocal on purpose the books were just something to read it's not my fault you all told me to write more the streaming was because ytf not I love gaming why not get paid to do 
if the content was because who doesn't want a fucking laugh sure not all of it is funny but not everyone is the same some people like dark humor and gross bad humor just cause it's not your cup of tea doesn't mean you should be offended my life goal was simple become a teacher that changed my life goal became being a musician well i accomplished that i don't have a music industry i don't have a record label i do everything myself sure it's not promoted by a big corporation but at least my shit 100% belongs to me and I can't get sued, copyrighted or anything by the music industry same with the movies. I'm not the best creator, I'm not a celebrity, I'm not some spoiled rich brat entitled to everything. Yes the world is a piece of shit place but what the fuck are you doing to change it cause from my point of view I just made it clear how fucked the world is and how easy it is to be you if you chose to be you sure I didn't change the world but I did what made me happy and content so I DGAF if died before after or now life's short live it the way you want but stop feeling entitled to everything you're the life not your parents or friends by now you should have gotten the point so I'm done explaining and talking about it all from now on you can just watch whatever the fuck I make if not fears the door I really don't care but if you need help or anything most of you know where to Find me or get a hold of me but again I'm a very busy person so don't think I'm ignoring you. God I talk to much face rolling on the floor laughing. Episode 4, The Missing Piece. I quit a few platforms and left the music industry. The final paycheck from those were delivered but the content continues and hey race where? The one and only Instagram after leaving and coming back countless times I made one final Instagram and it blew up in under a year. For the time being these are the current platforms Discord is not set up but you can still join it. I gave up on YouTube after losing the 4 million subs but today onwards I will be returning to operate YouTube. At the current time of making this episode I do not have plans for a book 15 but you can read all 14 books as one story with this book that put all 14 in one it started with a dragon and over the years the stories grew and went in many different worlds and story plots most definitely a good series. So far we have created so many things these last two years and there is so much more to bring. Day is never finished. Master got me working. Someday master set me free. Is it because I'm black? It's a joke. Was a joke, don't get your knickers in a bunch. Why do y'all look like you have your knickers in a bunch? Why, why, I don't, why, I don't, why, I don't, why, 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 what, what, what did you just damn say? Maybe she'd have called her a bunch of niggas. Did, did I say something wrong? But to me, if you don't know if you had to say something wrong, yeah, you said something wrong up in this bitch. No, she said knickers. I heard her say we're a bunch of n-words. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what she said. Don't tell me I didn't hear what I heard. She said, y'all a bunch of niggas. No, 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 knickers. Yes. Knickers. CK, knickers. Don't be calling us no niggas up in this nigger. Hold on, it's knickers, knicker, it's underwear. Yes, yes, it's knickers. These are knickers. Oh! Mm, then she just damn flashed me. Actually, that almost turned me on a little bit. Mm. What it look like? It look like a nickel. She don't shave, it's black, it's black, oh. completely black. Black, black top. I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to tidy myself up. It does look a bit like a busted mattress, but I'm sorry. Well, say that here, oh, say panties or something. Some. Maybe there ain't no panties. Them some big ass drawers. Uh, it's, it's just, look, it's just a language gap, that's all. That language gap almost got you capped. You better be careful here, better not say that again. Well, you know, I... She won't, she right, Mommy? She better not cap that big, whatever your name is. I won't, I'm sorry. Well, now all that's cleared up. Um, is it going, is it clear? Is it really cleared up, Cole? Yes, it's cleared up, my dear, it's clear off a joke. It was a mistake. I'm still offended by being called a nigga up in my house full of nigga. It's okay, off a joke. Episode 5 flashbacks and recaps 15 albums now only available on social media i removed them from the music industry and if you want to know why well pause and read the next clips face rolling on the floor laughing tried becoming a youtuber again and failed but still blew up face rolling on the floor laughing play games with me mf 14 books